as a terrible storm and all the lights have gone out. You awaken, not to thunder, but to the incessant beat of a heart under your bed. Do you dare look under the mattress or with trembling fingers pull the covers high over your head? When an otherworldly chill is in the air, and the wind calls your name when the hounds bark as if possessed do you raise your collar and quicken your pace or laugh at your fanciful imagination could you spend a night alone in a house by the sea a house where the walls cry and the spirits are restless but you don't believe in such nonsense do you not in ghosts oh good Oh, vampires, not in raising the dead or tales of terror or the black arts. Now do you. So come, come with me past this wrought iron fence. Some call this place the Valley of Unrest, but it's just an old graveyard, a place of everlasting sleep. Isn't it? There's nothing here but crumbling headstones overrun by grass and weeds, large tools, foreboding and long forgotten, decaying trees with claw-like branches that dip into the surrounding mist. Hold that lamp high. The night is starless, and the moon rides on dark, ominous clouds. On the other side is a town of the living, of warm hearths and cheer. They say this cemetery is a shortcut, though the locals never walk it, at least not after dark. They talk of ghosts and spirits and screaming banshees of disembodied souls lost in a netherworld between life and the hereafter, of premature burials where victims cry out with their final breath of the uninvited who stalk these grounds, though if truth be told, it is we who are truly the uninvited. Good thing we weren't standing under that tree. Dead man's hill. Somehow we've become lost in the swirling mist and lashing rain, surrounded in every direction by pillars and headstones and tombs. Can you hear the beating of your heart? Feel the hair on your neck stand? What horrible fate befell those who tread this path before us? Thank <laughs> you. 
Don't let that door close behind you. Don't panic. There must be another way out of this dark, dank, musty house of the dead. That's not Jack Frost nibbling at your toes. There's hundreds of enormous rats scurrying all around, growing bolder by the moment. Fierce red eyes and ravenous sharp fangs, lured by the scent of fresh meat. You. Quick. There's a hint of light coming from the far corner. Drop the lamp on this rotted wood to keep the rats at bay. And run. Run for your life. There's a small passage, once secret at the base of the wall. We are descending into the legendary catacombs of Salem. We walk by candlelight under a river's bed. Drops of moisture trickle along the walls embedded with bones and skeletal remains. It's said that when the witches of Salem escaped their persecutors, they found refuge in these dark walls. Here, they freely practiced their demonic rites. There's a foulness in the air. Pungent smoke, ominous echoes. It's the witching hour. And this is the witch's call. A place he wouldn't want to be caught dead. And especially not alive. house on the hill anymore. At least not mortal souls. It is a gloomy place in terrible disrepair. What once were magnificent windows are boarded shut or stare out like vacant eyes. What once was a garden is overrun by weeds and scattered white trunks of decayed trees. I to rein the horses tight and shackle the doors for well, they have a second sense of intractable terror. Cobwebs hang from the walls and furniture. There's an ominous power of darkness in such a desolate house. But you don't believe in ghosts, now do you?
curious. The fireplace burns in the dining room. And the table has been set. What's this? A wooden coffin. Come to me. Blood of my blood. Flesh of my flesh. Come to me. Come. Come. I've been expecting you. He casts no shadow, shows no blood in his face. His hands are hairy, his teeth sharp, his eyes daggers of fire. You seem restless, my friend. Doors everywhere, all bolted. I am the darkness and the night, a shadow in your dreams. Do you hear them? The creatures of the night. My children of darkness. They sing a requiem for the dead and undead. I shall return. Till then. Please. I trust you like Sally with the balsamic vinegar. I find a stick so, so bad for the heart. Tonight, I take a bride. Blood of my blood. Flesh of my flesh. Come with me into the darkness. And you shall know eternal life. There's music coming from the parlor. It was in this room that Dr. Charles Fourier took the maid as his mistress. And it was here that he savagely murdered his wife, Sarah, then buried her under the organ's pipes and the reeds. Soon the doctor and maid were married. People say that on their wedding night, the organ began to play, softly at first, sadly, then increasingly louder and more maddening. Dr. Fourier tried hacking it to pieces. Still, it played on. The next morning, the doctor and his maid were found hanging from two nooses directly over the organ. The official report says guilt drove them insane. But I never believe official reports. Ha <laughs> ha! 
A little museum here. It's nothing very remarkable, really. Just an odd collection of medieval tools. Care to lose your head over a guillotine? I see you have an eye out for that hot. Poker. <laughs> Ever get stretched on a rack? One of my personal favorites, the ancient Chinese water torture. Good to the last drop. Well, truly the pit.
a turn of the century dental drill. They were slower then, much hotter too, but quite effective in getting to the root of the matter. Sorry, did I touch a raw nerve? I'm afraid you swooned, so we placed you on this table. Please, don't fight the straps. Just look toward the ceiling of your prison. Do you see the painted picture of time? Rather than the traditional scythe, he's holding a huge pendulum. Yes, the pendulum is in motion. Notice how its arc and velocity increase with every swoop. Notice how it lowers inch by inch, a crescent of sharpened glittering steel, about a foot in length from horn to horn, the under edge as keen as a razor. Pendulum is designed to cross the region of your heart. First it splits your clothing, then returns and repeats the operation. Feel the sharp, cold steel upon your skin. Just a tickle at first, then a trickle of blood. Then... Frightful experiments are conducted.
Ancient mariners spoke of the songs of the sirens, too seductive to ignore, too deadly to hear. Upon the jagged rocks sit these temptresses of the sea, weaving notes that draw ships ever closer, until finally the crews are driven mad in their hunger for more. With a blind fury, the ships find only uncharted rocks and cliffs and death. Another ship makes its way along these seven seas. Tolling Funeral Bell.
eating cats. flies away. Lilliputians. Monster eats and burps. <coughs> Monster roars. Window crash. Squeaking door.
Haunted Foghorn. Shadows and darkness.
Passing Meteor. Hovering UFO. Laser gun. <laughs> Alien abduction. Spaceship lifts off. Spaceship lands. Lightning. Thunder crash.
Thunder Roll. Steady night wind. Arctic wind.
Wild Thunderstorm. Footsteps on pavement. Footsteps in mud. Woman screams. Man screams.
Bethlehem. When worlds collide. <laughs>